Hey howdy guys, Connor McCaskill here and today I'm going to be going over 5 secret settings in your Fujifilm that you probably haven't heard about, or at least I hope you haven't. So without any further ado, let's jump into the first point. Now the first hidden feature tucked away inside your Fujifilm camera is the ability to change the focus ring direction. Of course I'm talking about an electronic focus ring like on your 18 to 55 millimeter, not like this manual focus ring on this 50 millimeter TT artisan lens. You, 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 can't, you can't do anything about this. Now for some of you who may not know, some cameras focus clockwise towards infinity and other cameras focus counterclockwise to infinity. Two common brands that focus in different directions would be let's say Canon cameras and Nikon cameras. But the cool thing about these Fujifilm cameras is that you get to choose the direction of the focus ring. And here's how. Go into the menus to the wrench icon, select the button slash dial settings, scroll down to the second page, and there you'll find an option called focus ring. From there you can select whether you prefer a clockwise or a counterclockwise to infinity focus. Whichever system works best for you, let's say you came from a Nikon system to Fujifilm, well you can make it focus in the same direction, same goes for Canon, Sony, etc. Now if you shoot an F-Log on your Fujifilm camera, there is a great view assist option. This option is pocketed on the second page of the screen setup menu on the wrench tab. When selected, it shows a Rec. 709 LUT on the LCD and the EVF of your Fujifilm. Now don't worry, this isn't like a picture profile. This isn't burned into the image. This is simply applied to the screen, almost like a corrective LUT on the display, just to give you an idea of what the final result may look like once you're done color correcting in your editor. Now personally, I like to program a custom button. In my case, it is the up arrow on the back of the Fujifilm X-T4 to quickly toggle on and off this effect because sometimes it is more useful to look at the F-log image and then sometimes it is more useful to look at the actual color corrected version. Speaking of custom buttons, feature three is a quick one. By simply holding down the display back button for just a few moments, it will immediately jump to the function custom settings in your menus. So if you're wanting to program a different button on your Fujifilm to be a custom button, like the up arrow for the view assist on my X-T4, this is just a really handy shortcut. Now this fourth secret setting is kind of a quality of life upgrade if you're shooting video, especially if you're shooting by yourself. I like to, in the movie tab on the third page, turn on the front facing tally light. I do this right now in this case for recording myself, whether I'm vlogging or on a tripod like this. It's just a little indicator letting me know that yes, I am recording. Additionally, I have found when recording a human subject, it sounds weird, human subject. When I'm recording a person, they tend to like to know when they're being recorded. And since I have the screen flipped towards me that has the little recording icon, I can turn on the tally light so that they know, hey, I am currently recording you in this moment. It's just a little bit of extra reassurance that yes, we are recording. I like it. Now this next secret setting I actually found from another YouTuber. His channel is called pal 2 tech And if you haven't seen his channel, he has a lot of great videos about Fujifilm cameras. So if you have a Fuji cam... His channel has a lot of useful information when it comes to Fujifilm cameras. So definitely go check out his channel. Chewy, what are you doing? Come here. Come here, Chewy. How are we doing? Hey, get down. I'm trying to make a video. Okay. Anyways, this setting is called the boost mode, and it is hidden under the power management settings of the wrench tab. Your camera actually defaults to the normal setting, but I would almost always recommend switching it over to the boost setting. So what does the boost setting do? What, what do it do? Well, in the case of the Fujifilm X-T4, it actually does three different things. Now, other cameras do have a boost mode as well, like the X-T3, but the X-T4 does have more options. The first boost mode will actually increase the brightness of your LCD screen as well as your EVF, giving you additional visibility when shooting in particularly hard to see scenarios. The next one actually maxes out the resolution of your LCD and your EVF giving you just a little bit of extra crispness when viewing what you're trying to record 
through those two screens. And the last one increases the frame rate of your EVF from 60 frames per second to 100 frames per second, basically giving you a little bit of extra smoothness when viewing whatever you're recording, let's say running dogs in this case, through your EVF, which is pretty cool. Additionally, boost mode will keep your Fujifilm camera from going into a power saving mode. If you used Fujifilm cameras, you probably know what I'm talking about. The frame rate will suddenly get really laggy. I mean, we're talking like a handful of frames a second. It looks really bad. You're like, what's going on? Then you have to press the shutter or turn a dial and then it goes back to normal. Essentially, this is just to save battery and it goes into this every few minutes, which is really annoying. So if you switch over to boost mode, this will no longer be an issue. It'll run at maximum capacity all the time. Of course, with your camera running at the maximum capacity all the time, it is going to drain the battery a bit faster, or at least I would think it would drain the battery a bit faster. Technically, does it say that it will, but I would almost guarantee that it does. So definitely keep that in mind when you're using boost mode. Anyways, guys, that was just five secret settings that I found when diving through the settings of my Fujifilm X-T4, although this one is actually Zach Mayfield's X-T4. I'm recording on mine. Thanks for letting me borrow this, Zach. I kind of like super appreciate it and stuff. These hidden settings should transfer over to a lot of other Fujifilm cameras, although I don't know exactly which one. So try them out on your camera. If you're not using an XT series like the two, the three, and the four, I do know that a lot of these worked on the GFX series when I was using that camera. So let me know down in the comments if you're using a different Fujifilm camera, which ones these worked on. I've actually done a video very similar to this one about Fujifilm secret settings over on the Gear Focus YouTube channel so if you haven't seen that video I definitely recommend you go look that one up there's a lot of really useful stuff that I use all of the time like a quicker way to format your card other than going through the menu through like seven different pages and it's just super annoying it's just boop boop bam I'm in the format settings <sighs> Anyways, guys, I hope that you found this video useful. Let me know if it was for you guys, and I will see you all whenever I post another video. Take it easy, guys.